Hi, this is a tutorial from Chobobobo 102696. Today I'm going to be doing a platform shooter game. Uh, I, I've already done a tutorial on a platform shooter game, but it was just very basic, and this is just going to be a couple of extra things you can put in. I'm not going to be doing enemies though. This is not enemies. Um, if I if if you guys need to know how to do enemies, you can just tell me that. You know, post a comp, post a comment. Uh, but this is th what this is, is going to be is like once you you do something you can like switch between guns you use. So I'm going to be using the tutorial that I already made of the platform game as the base. Before you start, I've ch I've changed the name of all the sprites and the objects. So when you go back, uh, you should probably change all the sprites and objects to their proper name now because I've changed them. So anyways, I my character isn't yellow anymore, but he is still the same. He's facing right, he's facing left on these two. And the reason why he's brown is because the bullet is brown. So whatever um, color the player is, that's what bullet he shoots out. Alright. Wait, okay, wait. Before I show you this, I'm going to show you the finished product. Okay, so here's my player. It's the uh, same thing. You can shoot with the X button, jump with this. And so he's brown right now. So he shoots out brown, uh, brown bullets. And what the what the numbers are is it's one, two, and three. So I'm, I just press one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But they're not doing anything. So once I shoot. Two, I change to green, and he shoots it out faster. Now it's a green bullet. When I press one, he goes to brown, and I press two, he goes to green. But if I press three, he doesn't do anything. So I can switch between brown and green, whichever uh, bullet I want to shoot out. And the green goes faster. So uh, now I'm green. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. So now I'm uh, white. And it goes really fast. Now I can switch between any of the bullets that I want to shoot out at any time. I can switch between them. But if I haven't gotten that box yet, I can't switch between them. So it's kind of like a Mega Man game where, like, once you defeat the boss, you get that weapon. You get that new weapon. But until you, until you beat the boss, you cannot use that weapon. So that's what this is going to be. So then, just, you know, three sprites with your player, all like that, just a, just a different color. Basically all the same. Uh, wall sprite, and then, uh, th th basically, this is gonna be like your boss, your boss enemy. Uh, just, you know, just wall one, wall two, bullet one, bullet two, whoops, bullet two, bullet three, all just a different sprite for each one. Okay, so in O, o player, in the create, we have to make four more variables. We need got bullet one equals true. So that means that you have, it's like an equipped, uh, it's like you don't, it, you, you've gotten it before. So if you press the button, you're able to equip that bullet. So you've already got the bullet one. You start out with the brown bullet. So you got that one, so it's true. Got bullet two is false. Got bullet three is false. And equip is equal to bullet one. Now you put these inside these parentheses because if you don't put them in parentheses, it is talking about a variable. But this is not a variable. This is just the name. This is what it's equal to. If we put bullet, it would say um, it, it would be you know error, unidentified variable uh, bullet. So we put that in parentheses. So that can be anything we want. So equipped is equals bullet one. So you have equipped bullet one right now. This uh, top part is the same. There's no change in this top part. I don't think. Oh yeah. So like stuff like this, you need to change this to O wall instead of object two. Okay, here it is. If keyboard check pressed or X, in the other tutorial it just said instance create X Y O bullet. But here. We need to check what you have equipped. So equip equals bullet one, then create bullet one. 
If equipped equals bullet 2, create bullet 2. If equipped equals bullet 3, create bullet 3. Very simple. Okay, here's the numbers. If equi if uh, if you press the f the number 1 and got bullet 1 equals true. So if you gotten it before and you press 1, then equip equals bullet 1. Same thing here, just copy this. If equip if uh, pressed or 2, press 2 button and you got bullet 2, then equip equals bullet 2. Same thing with 3. All right, now this changes the sprite. If equip equals bullet 1, uh, change sprite into player bullet one. If equipped equals bullet tool two. Sprite index equals player bullet two. If equipped equals bullet three. Sprite index equals bullet three. P sprite player bullet three. That's all there is for the step event. Uh, same thing with the wall. Oh yeah, this was in the description. I forgot to put it, so I put it in the description. But you have to put this in. It makes the contact with the wall a lot better. And then uh, bullet two. This is the same thing except for on the first bullet, this H speed was eight and negative eight. So just change the speed bigger if you want the speed bigger to whatever you want. Uh, other than that, it's the same for these two. And bullet three, this one's 14, so it goes really fast. And that's all there is to that. And then once you make these, this this is gonna change. It says if place meeting with bullet one, two, or three, and then it makes O player. So this is this might get kind of complicated for beginners. So again, I t already talked about this in the other tutorial of the platform shooter, but this dot is referring to the object on the left's variable. So when we say got bullet three, got bullet three is a O player variable. So if we just say got bullet three, we're, that means we're talking about the O wall, but we're not talking about O wall. We're talking about O player. So you have to put O player dot and then got bullet three equals true, because uh, wall one is the bullet three. When you hit that, you can equip bullet three. And then the equip equals bullet three, and then again O player, and then instance destroy. So we're talking about ourselves destroy. So we don't put O player dot in front of it. And then that's the same for wall two, except for it's bullet two and equipped equals bullet two. And that's all there is to it. Uh, it's really not that it's really not that complicated to put in something like that. Once you once you understand how variables like that work, it is uh, not very hard just to make something like that. I made this uh, I made this tutorial for someone that needed help. In just a couple minutes, real quick. Uh, you know, the graphics aren't the best, but it, you know, it's programmed good, it works. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And and you know, in your game, it it doesn't just have to be the speed that changes. You know, your bullet could be a whole nother object. You know, it could be a, uh, it could be a bomb. It could wait a couple seconds and then explode. You know, it. I just did the speed change to to tell you that you know they could they they're different bullets. And they can each do a, a different thing. So, anyways, that's pretty cool. Well, that's all there is for this. I guess I'll see you guys next time.